All right, welcome to another episode of the Snake Oils That Work recorded, narrated video presentation. Actually, we cover a lot more than just oils, but I think the foundation of this is an essential oils, so that's why we call it the Snake Oils That Work. Today we're going to talk about home cleansing tips. I'm still just kind of blown away that I'm this freaking, you know, manly, muscly, crossfit kind of guy and I'm out here talking about cleansing tips and oils, but whatever. It's good stuff, man. It's really powerful. And um, we're also going to talk about other tips for clean living because we're not just going to talk about essential oils. I'm going to try to give you a lot of useful information. And if you're not with us right now, not following us, make sure that you just connect with us. PaulCTarina.com is my main website. You can also follow me on Facebook, and then superhumantransformation.com is one of our kind of sub-websites where we have a lot of challenge information, all right? So we're going to dig right into this. We've got some main areas of concern when it comes to what we're really talking about here is cleansing the home, and, and for most of us, you know, we've been through the superhuman transformation, or maybe we're doing our best to eat real food and eat clean. And it's the next step, the natural progression, to try to clean other things that you're exposed to. So, you know, there's a lot of toxins and a lot of different things. And I think a great place to start is your home because you're in your home a lot of the time, you know, and you're exposed to this stuff on a regular basis. So the things that we want to look at and, and address issues with and then also find replacements for are going to be air fresheners in the home, laundry and laundry type stuff like detergents and dryer sheets and all that kind of stuff and softeners. And then toothpaste, dent or oral care, deodorants, and then cleaning products. And we're going to go through each one of these. All right, so first of all, air fresheners, completely toxic, right? So I, I remember I lived most of my life loving Yankee Candle and just going to their store and stocking up on candles. And we just have candles going all day, every day, everywhere that I lived. You know, we had roommates sometimes in college and then outside of college, it was just a thing, you know. Um, you know, and then there's always been some glade, good glade scents and you could always use the spray to freshen up your home. But did you know that these things came, contain some extremely toxic chemicals in them? Um, many of them are classified as neurotoxins and yet they're still allowed in these different sprays and candles. So the Yankee candle, a lot of people think, you know, even when they start to get a little bit healthier, some of these burning candles, because it's a candle, for some reason, it's not as toxic as an air freshener. But the chemicals that they use to actually make the scent are extremely toxic. All right, so we definitely want to find some replacements for this. All right, so the best air freshener is going to be using a quality diffuser and then top-notch quality essential oils. And I have to specify here, you know, I kind of think we're all on board with, with doTERRA, but I used to use essential oils from Whole Foods and, you know, whatever I could find that was the least expensive. And I'm telling you right now, the quality control measures and the quality of the oils themselves and the, and the functionality of them, you know, so if we're looking here to kill airborne pathogens, like something like doTERRA is going to be above and beyond anything that you'd find in a normal grocery store. So the best air freshener is going to be using a, do, uh, a um, diffuser and then also some really good quality essential oils. And if we're looking to kill pathogens in the air, then I would say use something that's citrus based or use their protective blend, which is on guard. And the benefit here is that these are plant-based oils, they're antifungal, antiparasitic, antibacterial, and they kill air airborne pathogens. So we're not just looking to make our home smell good, we're actually looking to kill and, and cleanse and purify. And so uh, these are the oils that are going to be best for that. Um, one that's not pictured here is their Purify blend, which is probably my favorite. So it's a citrus-based and actually designed to cleanse and purify, and it's just amazing. For little spaces that you'd like a little kind of clean pick-me-up and, and maybe you have some, some cupboards and some pantry areas or maybe your clothes closet and you'd like to keep things fresh, you can use a pint mason jar, fill it up about halfway with some baking soda, and then you put about 10 to 15 to 20 drops of your favorite essential oil and then poke some holes in it. So you can do anything in this. You could do something like lavender, but again, if we're looking to purify, um, and the cleanse, then I would look at either their protective blend, which is on guard, or using one of the citrus based oils. And my favorite is going to be Purify, but you can use lemon, you can use Melaleuca, you can use uh, their Citrus Bliss or Wild Orange or something along those lines. Super simple, but super awesome. And I don't know if I mentioned that when you use this little pint jar, you want to poke some holes with a nail on the top, you know, a little kind of circle of holes so that some of the oil comes out. And then over time, if you, know, if the, if you notice that the power of the scent has kind of dissipated, then you just open it up and add some more oil. 
And then for dust and airborne particles, what I love to do is just use, after I've done all my cleansing, like say for instance in my kitchen, I use a washcloth and, or uh, a sponge and I cleanse, clean everything. Then after everything's clean, I like to take a microfiber cloth and then add one of the citrus-based oils or On Guard to it and then do like a quick wipe down. And then also if I'm ever dusting, I'll do the same thing. I'll use a microfiber cloth and use Purify, Lemon, or On Guard and then wipe everything down. So not only are you dusting, but you're also cleansing and purifying all your different surfaces. All right, so super simple, but super effective, unbelievably effective. Now, if we look at laundry detergents and softeners and fabric softeners, like the bounce sheets, like again, just like the air fresheners, completely toxic. And I get sick now. You know, sometimes I'll go visit a friend or a family member that's not kind of on board with everything that we're doing. And they'll, out of the kindness of their heart, wash my clothes. And of course, they're using Tide and they're using Downy and they're using some kind of a fabric softener and dryer sheet. And it just makes me nauseous to wear this stuff, you know. So these things, again, just like the air fresheners, a lot of toxic compounds, a lot of chemicals that are um, extremely harsh and, and harming to the body. And so we want to look for alternatives here. For a laundry detergent, my favorite is going to be the On Guard laundry detergent. I love it. It's super, super concentrated. Um, and so, you know, you use a quarter of a cap full and it's a small cap and it washes, you know, a quarter of your laundry load. Or if you have a huge washer and you fill it up to the top, you use one cap full, which is still not that much. And it does a great job. Now, a really cool little hack for using dryer sheets is you simply take a microfiber cloth and then you drop your favorite essential oils on that cloth and throw it into the dryer cycle with the rest of your clothes. And you can experiment with how many drops of oil it takes to get your clothes you know, smelling a little bit fresh. But it's just a super simple way of doing things, you know, and it's holistic and cleansing and purifying. And then, and again, we do, you know, recommend that you use the citrus base oils or On Guard if you're looking to cleanse or purify. But if you're just looking to make things smell good after you've washed them already, then you can use any oil that you want. And then, you know, a lot of us, because we're not going to use dryer sheets, are looking for something that helps with anti-static. And you know what the coolest thing to use is? A freaking ball of tinfoil. So get your microfiber cloth, put your favorite essential oils on there, 10, 15, 20 drops, and then ball up a ball of... Um, Reynolds wrap or tin foil and aluminum foil and throw it in there and you get your anti-static. It's awesome. Boom. All right, so next let's look at toothpaste and mouthwash. So there is absolutely no reason for you to need a toothpaste that contains fluoride. There's been like a, a million studies done that show the effectiveness of fluoride on the teeth, like topically. And the only time that it's been shown to be effective is in your first six years of your uh, for permanent teeth coming in. So topical fluoride, you know, we could, we could even get into, you know, fluoride in the water, but fluoride in toothpaste is, is moot. It's worthless. It really is. And then you're ingesting the fluoride, with the, which is a halogen, and it starts to disrupt things that happen in the thyroid and displace some certain hormonal properties and things like that. And it's just, it's something that's extremely damaging. So, um, and then same thing with mouthwashes. Usually they contain a lot of chemicals and toxins, and then you're absorbing things straight through your mouth. So we want to look for some alternatives here. Now, there are some holistic toothpaste blends that you can buy in the store which I think are just way too expensive. You can make your own toothpaste blend at home by using coconut oil, some baking soda, and then flavoring it with some peppermint oil. But what I found to be even more cost effective and just more simple because there's no need for any of that other stuff is to simply put a couple of drops of peppermint oil on your toothbrush and brush your teeth and that's it. That's your toothpaste. And the great thing about the peppermint oil from doTERRA is it's such good quality that you can swallow it after you're done. I don't know if that sounds gross or not, but that's what I do. You know, I sit there and I'll brush my teeth and I'll gargle with it and then I swallow it because it has a lot of beneficial properties inside the body like strengthening digestion and, and some other things. So I love to use it first thing in the morning because it's also a great pick-me-up. Now, if you're looking to uh, make a mouthwash, you can just simply fill up a glass bottle with some purified cleansed water, some reverse osmosis water or something along those lines. And then you could put a few drops of peppermint in there, some On Guard, some lemon, or some other oils that are appropriate that you can um, that you can ingest, even though you're not going to be swallowing this mouthwash, although you could. And then you'd simply shake it before you use it, you know, uh, put some in your mouth and swish it around. So, But if you're brushing your teeth with some peppermint oil, you'll see the stuff is so strong you don't really need any mouthwash. Um, or, as another alternative, you could just simply take a drop of peppermint oil, lick it off the back of your hand, and there you got your mouthwash. All right, for deodorant, we all should understand that deodorants are extremely toxic. The antiperspirants out there, most of them contain some kind of a liquid aluminum-based product that actually helps to clog your pores, and it does keep you from sweating, but it also clogs your pores, and then that stuff gets inside your system. And most of them, even if they're not antiperspirants, are contain just all kinds of different chemicals. If any of the products 
make any claim to be antibacterial that implies that they're using some kind of a pesticide. So we want to find an alternative to this. And guess what? We got the greatest alternative in our office. All right, with deodorant, we make it ourselves. Get your stank off. It's the best natural deodorant you'll ever use, guaranteed. Um, if you're here locally, you can pick some up at our office, or you can go to whiffdeodorant.com and purchase some online. Like, it's just, it's amazing. It's been tested in the jungles of Peru, in CrossFit gyms here in Las Vegas, in 115 degree, degree weather, and it's just, it's amazing stuff. All right, for cleaning products, same thing. You know, toxins, if it's antibacterial, it's got pesticides in it, and there's a lot of things that have been uh, classified as neurotoxins, and these are things that we want to find replacements for, for sure. So what I do is pick up some glass bottled spray bottles, and I've got some links to these in the notes, and, and then that would be safe to use some essential oils in because if you use essential oils, especially citrus-based essential oils and some kind of plastic, a lot of times it'll eat away at the plastic. So you want some glass bottles, and I have some really good ones and some links. And what you can do is you can dilute On Guard Concentrate, which you can get from doTERRA. It's their cleaner, On Guard Cleaner. It's a concentrate, and you can dilute it and use it as a general purpose cleaner. Or something else that I love to use is going to be a quarter cup of white vinegar, one and a half cups of water, 30 drops of your favorite essential oil. Again, On Guard or the citrus-based oils will work best for cleansing. And then you can also use a tablespoon of liquid Castile soap. And the best Castile soap is going to be Dr. Bronner's Unscented because the scent you're going to want to get from your own essential oils. And we have some links to these things, again, in the notes. So put all that in a bottle. Um, give it a, you know, I wouldn't shake it up like, like you know, um, I would give it like a gentle kind of turn and shake just to mix things up a little bit before you use it. If you shake it up too much, then, you know, it just gets a little bit too kind of cloudy and everything in there. So, um, and then for a, a glass and light cleaner, uh, what, and I call it glass and light cleaner because you can use it on glass, but I also like to use it as just like a little touch up thing. Um, again, you want to use a glass bottle, uh, three parts white vinegar, one part distilled water, and then 10 drops of any citrus oil or pur purify, or you can also use the on guard oil. All right, a great soft scrub that you can use around your sink, um, whether it's the kitchen sink and the bathroom. You can also use it on your toilets and use it as a scrub inside your showers. Shoot, I gotta scrub my shower like every other day because of my feet because I'm barefoot all the time. But this stuff works awesome. So what you want to do is get a glass container and then use three quarters grounded cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of Castile soap, liquid Castile soap, a tablespoon of water, a tablespoon of vinegar, and then five to 10 drops of your favorite essential oil. And again, the citrus-based oils, Purify or On Guard is gonna work awesome. And then you just use this soft scrub. You'll notice when you mix all this stuff together because you have the bacon, soda, and vinegar, it's gonna fizz a little bit. Um, if you don't use it all at once, you can stir it and, and keep it for a little bit, but I think it's best to make it in small batches and try to use it all at once. For dish soap, we don't have anything that we recommend through our essential oil line, but what I do highly recommend is going to be the seventh generation. I don't use a dishwasher. I just hand wash everything. So if you're going to hand wash, I'd use their natural dish liquid. And then if you're going to use a dishwasher, then I would use their uh, dishwasher gel. And they have a new one, Ultra Power Plus, and I've heard it works really well. For a hand sanitizer, this is a great little, you know, do-it-yourself hand sanitizer for the winter months. If that's something that concerns you, um, you'd want to use uh, uh, a really good quality aloe vera gel, which is almost 100% aloe, aloe vera gel. And you'd want to use some vitamin E oil to help preserve it. Or you can get some aloe vera gels that actually have vitamin E already in it. And I've got a links to a couple of recommended brands in the notes. And then what you'd want to do is add a tablespoon of witch hazel, a good quality witch hazel, and then 30 drops of tea tree essential oil. And tea tree, because tea tree is uh, great for the skin, it's antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic. And then you want to mix all this stuff together and put it in a little um, either squirt bottle or you can use one of those little pump squirt bottles as you see here on the, on the picture. So it's a great hand sanitizer. I used it last year and just loved it. I'm going to use some in my office this year when everybody starts getting sick around the gym. All right. So I think that's about it as far as our recommendations. I'll just go real quick through some basics on essential oils. And remember, essential oils, we can um, get them into our system either aromatically through a diffuser or just by inhaling them through the bottle. And then we can also get them into our system topically so we can apply to a localized area. Um, and then there's some other areas I'm going to cover here in just a second that are kind of preferred because they get into the system and have these systemic effects a little bit quicker. 
And then we also have internal. So some of the oils you can actually take internally. And I would say in order of strength, you know, starting with diffusing or, or aromatic, that would be the weakest signal that we'd get into the body. Topical is going to be a little bit stronger. And then internal, if it applies to certain oils, then that would be the strongest signal that we'd get for the effects of these oils. But they all have different uses for different situations and different times. Now when you do dermal application, you have to understand that you get localized effects in the specific area. So if I have a digestive issue and I rub digestin or ginger in the area of concern, the area that I'm experiencing those symptoms, then I get some immediate relief. And then also because it's absorbed into the bloodstream and then it flows throughout the body, I get what we call systemic effects, which is really awesome. Now in my opinion, the best places to apply essential oils are going to be at the wrists, at the bottom of the feet, on the back of the neck, and then also behind the ears. What's great about applying to behind the ears is you can follow up by massaging these auricular points inside the ears that correspond to different organ systems. And it's fun just to experiment with this stuff. You know, the Chinese medicine and some other methodology would say that if you massage these different points, then it's having activation in these different systems through neural pathways. But, you know, I'm big on, on the effects of the unconscious mind. So even if you just symbolically believe that this is working, whether you're hitting those exact points or not, it's still going to have a, a beneficial effect. And then also when you're rubbing the bottom of your feet, you can, you can apply the oils to the bottom of your feet and then using these reflex charts that are in your Modern Essentials book, you can also pinpoint s certain system areas. Um, you know, so if you're trying to get some kind of a detoxification effect, you can massage the liver area and, and you know, certain things like that. So it's extremely useful to use. Um, as a wholesale member or what they call a wellness advocate with doTERRA, when you sign up to purchase a kit and what we recommend is either starting with the family physician kit or the home essentials kit or one of their larger kits. I love the natural solutions kit, which is $550 and it contains just about every oil that you could possibly ever need. Um, but anyway, when you sign up uh, with one of these kits, you become what they call a wholesale member or a wellness advocate. And to maintain your Wellness Advocate membership, all you have to do is purchase product one time a year. You don't have to ever sell anything, although doTERRA is big on you know, helping you spread the message and, and earn commissions and things like that. You don't have to participate in any of that. In fact, most of our people and most of the people on our team just purchase product every month and that's all they do. Um, you do get your own website regardless that you can place orders through and you can also share that website custom URL with friends and family members that you'd like to turn on to essential oils because most of us when we start using this stuff it's just natural that we start sharing it with other people. And then you get access to 25% savings uh, off of retail pricings. You know, so, and then you also get up to an additional 55% back in loyalty rewards points which we'll cover here in just a second. Um, you have a wealth of online resources, you have an application which I recommend which is the Modern Essentials application and then you also have book resources that we all recommend. And then in our team we have a bunch of people that are there to support you. So it's, it's, a, it's a really great um, community that we have in this little snake oils that work thing and then I have you know people in my hierarchy that we can actually ask questions if we don't have all the information ourselves. Now the loyalty rewards program if you purchase $50 a month in doTERRA oils or any doTERRA products, you get certain uh, what they call uh, PV points associated with it. And these are basically points that you can use to purchase more product in the future. So every time you spend $50 or more a month, you're enrolling yourself in what I like to call their frequent flyer miles program. All right. So for the first month, for every $50 you spend and over, you get 10% back in loyalty rewards points. And then for the, after three months, it goes up to 15 until at the end of a year, you get up to 30% back in loyalty rewards points, which be, means for every 100 bucks you spend, you get 30 bucks back in points that you can spend on more product. And right now, I've got sitting in my loyalty rewards points cart over $300 worth of stuff, which means I can just purchase $300 worth of doTERRA product and oils, which is pretty darn awesome, right? So spending 50 bucks a month qualifies you for this percentage loyalty rewards points bags. And so that's kind of the minimum that I recommend most people spend a month and if you're using oils on a regular basis it's super easy to achieve. If you spend or find yourself spending over $100 a month um, on a regular basis let me know because then we could include you in our little business model and our business thing is, is growing pretty fast because we're enrolling people you know all day every day. And it's not something you have to participate in, but if you are spending over 100 bucks a month, you qualify for commissions and you might as well learn how to, you can make some money off of it. So just let me know if that, if that applies to you. And then $125 qualifies you for their product of the month. So this month, their product of the month is a five milliliter bottle of Breathe. Now Breathe, I use every single day before I go into the, my workouts. Um, and then I use them during the workout. So it's great for opening, opening up your... Um, 
your air passageways. It, it maintains clear airways and breathing, supports overall respiratory health, and then helps minimize the effects of seasonal threats and seasonal allergies. So it's a really, really great product. I like to combine it with something like wild orange or citrus bliss or something to give me a little bit of a pick-me-up. So I love it. All right, so those levels, again, you have $50 a month. If you spend 50 bucks a month, you get points back that you can buy product with. If you spend 100 bucks a month or more, then you qualify for commissions. Just let me know if you do that on a regular basis. And if you spend 125 bucks this month, you get their product of the month. If you have any questions on placing orders, when you get your, um, your own wellness advocate or, or wholesale account, just let me know. When you log in, they give you some pretty clear options. But if you have any confusion with that whatsoever, let me know. Um, and I always, always uh, sit down with each one of our new members and they get a complimentary Modern Essentials book from me and then I go through all the different websites and links and how to place orders and things. So if you're a new member and you haven't had that opportunity to sit down with me, just let me know. And then something that we've started here recently this, um, that's picked up pretty well is we do an hour presentation that we call Intro to Real Food and Essential Oils. And it's a free presentation that will come to your neighborhood or to your home if you're willing to host a, uh, a party of 10 or more people then we'll come there and do this kind of real food introduction presentation which covers my five food groups and some other tips. And then we'll also do a brief introduction on essential oils. You know, I love essential oils in this intro uh, presentation because you know, people are looking for something that has an immediate benefit and an immediate effect and that's what essential oils do. So for some people, you know, implementing the real food piece is, you know, it's difficult. And if you're not signed up for the 10 week superhuman transformation program, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of daunting to try to figure that stuff out on your own. But if I can come there and tell you a little bit of basics about real food, and then also give you some essential oils that you can use to support you symptomatically and notice immediate uh, effects from, then a lot of people resonate with that. We've seen some really good results from it. And then these people get plugged into our network and eventually they'll start doing a superhuman transformation or something along those lines. Right? So just let me know if you'd be interested in that. Um, again, if you can get 10 or more people together, we'll come to your home or come to your neighborhood, come to your clubhouse or wherever you want to host that little sucker at. All right, so that is our presentation on home cleansing tips. Some really simple tips, really effective, really easy. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, if you aren't connected with us, uh, remember our main website, paulctorina.com. You can follow us on Facebook. And then also superhumantransformation.com is our challenge website where you have details of upcoming challenges and FAQ and all that kind of good stuff. Um, on my main website, we have a page dedicated to essential oils. So it's paulctorina.com slash oils. And thank you so much for joining us today. Let me know if you have any questions.